So here we are given the equation of a quadratic function and we need to find its roots. So this question could be phrased in a few different ways. So we could be asked to find the values of x for which f of x equals zero. Or we could be asked to find where the graph crosses the x-axis or to find the x-intercepts of the function. And this, these all mean the same thing. So remember that the roots of a function are just the input values that give you an output of zero. So when we have a function given in this notation, f of x is our output and x is our input. So we are looking for the x values that will give us an f of x value of zero. So we can write down here that we want f of x to be equal to zero to find the roots. In other words, our function x squared plus 4x minus 21 has to be equal to zero. So what we're left with here is just a straightforward quadratic equation. And this is where we have to use our skills from algebra to find the x values or to find the roots. So just to recap from algebra, there are two ways to solve a quadratic equation. One method is by factorizing, and this won't always work. We won't always have nice rational factors that we can find. And the second method is to use the minus b or quadratic formula. And this will work for any type of quadratic equation. Now, this example I know will factorize nicely. So that's the method I will use here. So I want to get my factors, which means I'm looking for two factors of minus 21 that add to give me plus four. So off the top of my head, they will be plus seven and minus three. So you can check if you multiply them together, they give you minus 21 and they will add to give you plus four. So we have X plus seven and X minus three. So that's that expression factorized equals zero. So to solve that then we say that for this product, so for these two multiplied together to give you zero, either the first factor has to equal zero or the second factor has to equal zero because there's no other way you could multiply two things together and get zero. So either x plus seven equals zero or x minus three equals zero. And we can solve those two mini equations then to give us our x values, which are our roots. So the roots are x equals minus 7 or x equals 3.